Hi, my name is Nigel Griffiths, I work in ATS IBM EMEA. This is part of a series of 10 killer apps for Linux on Power for AIX people. You're familiar with AIX, you want to give Linux on Power a go, let's find some tools that will add some value very quickly. This time it's Postgres SQL, uh, a nice database, has a passionate uh, following, it's pretty speedy. Uh, how easy is it to uh, install it, uh, create a database, load some data into it and start doing SQL statements? Well the answer is, is really easy. It's actually a lot easier than using the other very popular database, uh, MySQL or MariaDB. Um, it's written for Unixy guys and uh, uses uh, some easier syntax to actually get you started up and running. So here I'm using uh, SUSE 11.3 on a power machine. Let's just make that a bit bigger. Go to huge. Here we go. SUSE 11.3 on a power PC. We do a, a quick cat of the proc CPU info. We can see that it's uh, it thinks it's running on a Power 7 machine because that's in Power 7 mode. It's actually on a Power 8 machine running just uh, under the 4 gigahertz at the moment. You can see here 42A, that's IBM gobbledygook for an S824 model. Now we're going to play with Postgres SQL. And we'll just start up a Yast. We'll go to Software and Software Management. Here we go and pull in the repositories. It has to log on to my FTP server. So it takes a second or two. There we go. And we're going to look at PostgreSQL search. Here we are, a bunch of things in here. There's actually two versions in here. The first one that comes up here is um, 8.3. And uh, further down the list, we have Postgres 9.1, well, might as well go with the latest. Here's the uh, basic clients, you can see in here the basic clients and utilities, so that sounds like a good bet. And then the um, actual server is down here, and uh, so that's the programs you need to create and run an SQL PostSQL database uh, server. Okay, that's all we need, so let's do an accept of that. Okay, that didn't take long. So it's just doing its rebuild of its cache as normal, and we're done. Okay, so we'll make a directory somewhere to put the database. I'm probably not a sensible place to put it, but um, just want it uh, isolated to a directory. Okay, then we'll um, change the owner when we installed the software. created this user and group if I spelled it right um, so give the file the directory to the right user okay we run the init DB command oh no we have to become the uh, su to Press user, then we use the init database command um, okay should put a whole bunch of things in there um, LS database yep a whole bunch of files in here and so some config files it's saying here you can uh, adjust one of these if you want to trust local connections okay uh, the next thing to do then is to um, use the uh, monitor program so we can talk to the database which is PSQL oh, my fault I need to start the database actually tells me up here how to do that um, yep, that'll do. that's actually running if I control Z it and drop it into the background normally you run that command from a init process or a RC script um, if we p um, f u you... 
we can see that it's uh, sitting in the background in here. And now, uh, clear the screen, we want to talk to it, so it's PSQL. And uh, we're logged in. And we could do something like uh, create a database TPCD. Oh, look at that. Just did it. Application and lowercase, that worked as well. Um, we'll do a commit. Progress, that's OK. And we do a control D to come back out. OK. So we have a, created a database. We need some data. Uh, one place I like to go and get my data is a standard little database. I've been the past have had lots of benchmarking experience and a particularly nice database is the TPC D database. Um, this is uh, an eight table with lots of uh, connections between them. Um, so you have customers uh, and orders and products and uh, line items as part of orders, one-to-one uh, -one and many-to-many -many sort of relationships. Um, and it's a nice little database. The nice thing is it comes with some tools that will generate from, you know, one megabyte to a hundred terabytes worth of data uh, that will actually um, all link up with the indexes and things. Particularly nice sort of tool to use. And uh, so we'll actually go and get that now. Let me start up another window. Not sure if I should uh, show you this or not. It's sort of um, it's a standard commit, isn't it? The TPCD, the wget command, the org down in here. You can get the uh, scripts. It also got the um, was it 19 or 20 great big SQL statements you can run against the database. Um, I actually built uh, an old TP application to use the same data as well. Uh, download that in <laughs> two seconds. Uh, really nice and quick. And uh, here it is, we'll unzip a whole bunch of files in here, and um, we're going to go looking for a particular file. Find from here, name dss.ddl, decision support system, data definition language, uh, there it is, okay. And now I want to um, run those commands. Uh, if we do a quick VI on there, you'll just run there. Create, create table commands. You have nation, region, part, supplier. <coughs> um, what parts the supplier covers, customers, orders, line items. Nice little database in here. So we want, you want to um, run this into the PSQL command and very unixy we can just redirect the file off he goes and does it okay probably gonna say no transactions involved yet because we don't run transactions nope typed it in wrong commit oh sorry i came out of the psql um okay then we can go back into the psql right now i'm back to where i am um and then uh, we can do this special commands, the slash D should list our series of tables, eight rows, that's perfectly okay. Now we want to um, load some data and um, we can find those if we come out and we go down to TPC. It's a H benchmark, no, actually, isn't it? Um, ref data slash ref data does that work okay yep this is for different sizes of the database you can generate uh, your own if you want um, I just want to go for for the, the one here we are a whole bunch of files oh, there's some files in here starting customer Sorry, LD is the right. LS customer. Yep, here we go. So here's a file full of records. So we can see this is customer number one, and here's the uh, faked up data for that. 
and this will all be referential integrity over the other tables once we've uh, installed those and there um, the pipe symbol um, delimited data in here um, so if you want to uh, install that we just have to run again the uh, p sql Okay, copied 100 lines in. I'm never quite sure if this is a transaction or not, but we can do a, a commit. Nope, it's okay. Now if we do the um, select star from, what do we do, customers in here? Custom, uh, it doesn't like that. Got this, more typos. There we go, we can find the uh, the data in here. So that all worked okay. Okay, so once I worked around my typos and the actual file name, uh, very easy to do, and I can do a for loop um, adding all the other data files uh, in here. And then I've got a nice database to start doing uh, SQL against or creating some uh, indexes. Um, also in that package are the great big SQL statements that uh, make up the benchmark. Now, um, if one uh, final thing, if we uh, view etc. rc. post SQL, can we get in there? Yep. So in here we have. Um, a shell script yeah, that we can use to start up the Postgres database um, as we reboot the uh, machine and you can read through the details on how to do that in that file okay Postgres very simple to use um, uses natural things like um, redirecting things into the PSQL command to get things done and uh, very much easier to use than I found um, certain other uh, Linux orientated uh, database management systems so I'll leave you with my um, cheat sheet that I was using while um, creating the database, uh, starting it, um, creating some tables, inserting data, and then starting doing some SQL statements. At the bottom, how to get it to automatically start on reboot. Uh, pretty easy database to get up and running. Well, that's enough from me for this little movie. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as Mr. Enmon. you find lots of uh, movies from me on YouTube. I've got an expert blog and there's two virtual user groups, excellent places for lots of material and information about running AIX and uh, power systems. If you've liked this movie, why not click the thumbs up below.